very good morning to every one of you and thank you for joining us for our third annual Research and Innovation Week. UNISA's Research and Innovation Portfolio focuses on establishing the university as one of the leading research institutions where innovative thinkers can flourish and innovative ideas are rewarded. The week provides a platform for cross-disciplinary engagements by UNISA researchers, in-depth discussions on the challenges facing research in the higher education domain, and the different ways in which innovation can make people's lives easier. There are more people here than in the Houses of Parliament. Our theme this year is shaping the future, research and innovation for the nation. We have a jam-packed program with over 60 sessions in three different campuses of UNISA here on the main campus in Maklenyek, at our science campus in Florida, Johannesburg, and at the Graduate School of Business Leadership in Midrand. The highest level of scholarship in my book is influence. What is the point of doing research if it influences nothing? Last year, as UNISA commemorated 140 years of its existence, the refrain that cohered and anchored the narrative of our institution's journey was that of shaping futures. We should all be engaged in research in whichever institutions we are. But how it manifests itself, how it translates, is something that we need to rethink. What is a university about? Well, it's about knowledge. That's our contract with society. Society pays for us to be here. Then it's about creation of knowledge, first of all. Secondly, it's about dissemination of knowledge. And thirdly, it's about the application of knowledge. We want to save the world. We have very good intentions. The evolution of the BRICS group continues the trend towards a polycentric system of international relations and growing economic interdependence. So we need to look for alternative sources of energy. Uh, so one needs to uh, go from fossil fuel-based energy to uh, renewable energy and this is a major challenge for the 21st century. The problem with the first generation biofuel is they are using food as energy resources. It's okay for America, it's okay for Brazil at the moment. It's not good for China, it's not good, good for, for Africa. If we are able to have a technology that can operate on the small scale, not only technically but economically as well, and, and, and do this in a viable, feasible manner, that means we can start to tap into these smaller reserves. I was fascinated to see how current a debate about innovation in the humanities actually is in many parts of the world. What might be the contribution of the humanities to innovation in the science and technology sense of the term? We come after independence to the nation as a social idea. The nation is simply a reflection of the indigenous. It belongs simply to the indigenous. All the others become foreigners. What kind of uh, order or, or figure of freedom is in the making in South Africa in the aftermath of apartheid? So diversity enriches the value of our intellectual space. We need to do it as a nation, we need to do it as a university, we need to do it as individuals. We need to engage across disciplines, uh, across the borders of our country with others, across institutions. The main purpose of Research and Innovation Week then is to provide a platform for cross-disciplinary engagements by UNISA researchers, as well as to network and showcase the various UNISA research programs and flagships. One of the highlights in this year's program was the Photo Voice Gallery Exhibition and Book Launch, My Voice in Pictures, African Children's Vision of Safety, which once again demonstrated how we can make it possible for dreams to be realized through research and innovation. No one deserved greater thanks for this project than the young people from Mozambique. Uganda, Zambia, Egypt, and South Africa. Won't it be fantastic to bring all the children from all the countries to one place? Where should that place be? Obviously, UNISA. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, you will understand my delight and appreciation 
Third, having been given the honor to welcome you on behalf of UNISA's Council, its executive and extended management, to this, the Research and Innovation Award Gala Dinner. Research is the lifeblood of the university. We come from 140 year old tradition where the capacity to research is as natural as our commitment to our vision. To all of you who are getting awards tonight, this is the beginning of another journey. So continue to pursue excellence in all you do. Dream big, don't apologize for it. Work hard, stay focused. What is the role of research, scholarship and innovation in higher education? UNISA, making it possible through research and innovation for more than 140 years.